Today we're starting a tutorial series on a brand new account of Russian Fishing 4. This tutorial series is something I feel the community has needed for a long time. Uh, this tutorial will cover the absolute basics, some tips and tricks along the way, about the first few hours of the game. It'll also cover how to find reliable places to fish and how to get into a community that will help you throughout your Russian Fishing 4 career. I will cover, in my opinion, what is the order of the early equipment that you should buy. There's no way a solid, the only way to do this. This is only my opinion. You can play it however you want. It is an open game. You can, you can buy anything you want in the game, however fast you want to buy it, however you want to do it. I'll also give you a reasonable expectation of how much silver in those first few hours you should be looking at getting, the size of fish that you'll be getting, as well as some of the struggles you'll have early on with the lighter gear that you have. In this first episode, we're going to cover the tutorials, and as well as the cabin, and just a few initial like setups to get everything going so that you can start playing the game. Uh, the first one will be a lot of direction given by the game. We're not going to go out and start doing stuff that they're not telling us to do. Uh, that will come in the second episode and further on. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it a lot, give it a subscribe button. Hit the, hit the notification bell. Make sure you come back next time and see the more detailed ones. Also, if you don't mind, Go over to twitch.tv slash bigjoenobody and drop me a follow. That's where I normally do all this stuff. That's where this is recorded. And with that, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So here we go. The tutorial is ready to go. This is the first thing you see when you come up to the screen. We suggest that you become familiar this is just saying okay we got a tutorial right. it says we, ne we need to do the basic thing WASD and flashlight Approach the bank, send a bridge. Okay, now there's that. Go to the backpack, push I. Push this. All right. So it automatically sets all this stuff, stuff up for you now. Didn't used to do this, but you know, now it is. Makes it a little bit easier. Here you go. Uh, using your plus and minus keys to go to one meter in depth. This is her float fishing. This is if it's still the same tutorial, then this is where this is the only tutorial you get is is telestick float fishing. All right, now you use the left mouse button. Put it in the green spot. This is just to get through the tutorial. It's going to be one quickly. It goes under. Oh, it was too there. It was too early. Uh, it wants to push Z, which you don't have to do that anymore uh, because of the little screen that's down here now. By the way, if you want to talk, the button is Q. If you have any questions about the buttons, push F1 and we'll bring up this screen to tell you all the buttons and what they all do. All right, with a float, you can, it'll bounce around a lot and sometimes it'll do that. But if you bring it up and there's tension, it's like that. This is your uh, experience based on how much uh, skill you have in a certain type of fishing. This is your skill you get in for levels. Both of these are important, but even if you don't keep track of them, 
they'll be just fine. I mean, it'll keep track on its own. We'll, we'll show you how to get through, you know, each and every one of those. So we're done with that piece of the tutorial. They say go backspace, find the house, and get a spare tackle for float gear. I don't really want to do that, but okay. Oh. Oops, I got the wrong one. I'm supposed to go. It's available once a day, so you can always come back. But I always suggest getting the uh, I always suggest getting the the spinning gear anyway because it gives you a free reel. Now it's not the best. It's got like fifty percent uh, wear on it, which means it's only fifty percent effective, and it's only a four and a half kg reel. So you're only getting about two and a quarter kg out of the drag. You can fix it. Uh, there used to be a bug in the game where you could fix it for next to nothing, like 20 silver. Um, I don't think that's in the game anymore. I go to the fish market, which I believe this is... No, that's the boat station now. But this is the fish market. I said, oh yeah, we gotta sell this fish. It's 60 silver, or 0.6 silver. So, okay. Earn my first mo money. Go to the tackle store, which is, it's not this one, that's a cafe. Hardware and tackle store, there we go. And it says buy maggots. Okay, we we'll go over to Bates. It's very straightforward. Bates, uh, maggots are a larva. But here, we're going to buy the cheapest one for now, because we don't want to get too much. Okay. You can craft them, craft wet bread. Okay. So, buy that you use in, you go to wet bread, click here, click a piece of bread, and make. As you can see, we got a little bit of skill from it, and... We got 30 pieces of wet bread. All right, you have successfully completed all of our assignments. If you want to get acquainted with the mechanics of spinning rod and go to winding rivulet. Okay, we're gonna go on and do that too. Let's go on and get all the tutorials. They didn't used to have this, so. I'm kind of excited. I want to see what, what they've added since I started. I've played this game on and off for the last, oh, four years, something like that. Uh, I'd have to look. It, it had come out roughly a month before I started playing. Uh, and it was all in Russian, so I had to wait. Then I made a new account as soon as it went to English because they didn't have an account transfer at the time. All right, we're going to start this tutorial. WASD, they're doing all this again. To the left, the wooden bank. Okay, here. Just choose the spinning rod. Go to my backpack. Oh, so even though we got this one from the from the place, they gave us a Corona rod. Okay, with a spark and a tiny fishing fury. Furry, okay. And pick up. Set the friction back to 25. You do that by using the mouse wheel. And the last thing you need to change is the rotational speed. You hold R and you use the scroll wheel down to go to the right thing. Now it's time to cast. You use your left mouse button. If you want to get full power quickly, you can hold the shift button at any point or push the shift button at any point. You throw it out there, kind of in that general direction. Oh, now we got a fish on. See the tension bar came up with... With these type of fish, uh, with this type of fishing, uh, all you have to do is retrieve. But 
once you get into the game, you'll learn a couple other techniques. By the way, if you want to lift the rod, it's a right mouse button. If you want to set the hook, it's a control right mouse button. All right. We caught a fish. It was the biggest fish, blah, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. All right. This was the last task. For quick reference, you go to F1. Here's that. Okay. All right. So they're saying that, and as you can see, that that perch that's a little bit bigger, right, is worth a lot more silver. We're going to go in and sell that because that's what we want to do. Now, you can go out now and you can go wherever you want and try out new things. Uh, I personally think this is the location you would eat more easily start out to making some silver but some, a lot of people like to go to back to mosquito and make some silver there uh, my first absolutely first thing i would want to do is push q go to here. here let me let me hide this cam for a minute Gonna go here. Go. Oh, well, I don't want to just see the local people. This is just people, literally in the local area. So the global records are from anywhere. But you can see there's eight players that are nearby. Ten players that are nearby uh, that are in this chat, right? So they they don't have any other chat that they're in. I want to go here. See, there's six thousand eight hundred twenty-seven channels. There's a bunch of these like blank ones, and it tells you you know some stuff. But uh, find a community. Uh, there's there's several of them. There's if you go on Twitch, uh, you have my community that you can join. I don't really have a chat in game. I use the blue tag. I think it's one word. Blue tag gaming right here. This is the one I use. But there's also things like Poonies. Uh, I think it's. Uh, Hoodie's Rum Shack or something like that. Uh, Inyo, hey, find your community, get involved, and they're going to basically tell you. So I know this one because I know a, a Yepu. I've met him many times in here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Hey, everyone. It's important. Greet yourself. Uh, then you're going to say, uh, you're going to ask like, Hey, I want to fish for certain things. Now, one of the things you could do to find out what you want to fish for, you can go to here, uh, just to cover that again, records and ratings. That's your home for finding out what, what fish are biting and stuff like that. Uh, but here, if you do winding rivulet, you can see all the types of fish that are here at Winding Rivulet. As you can tell, there's a bunch. Now, some of them uh, are just going to be smaller uh, fish. As you can tell, the all-time record gudgeon is 199 grams. It's less than 200 grams. You can do that with any rod. Uh, frogs are available. Crayfish is a good one. Uh, dace, you know, gets a little bit bigger, but you know, still under 500 grams, any rod's gonna be able to do it. Chinese sleeper, uh, this is gonna be odd to catch, but, and it'll tell you when they were caught. So I wouldn't go and say, oh, well, just cause it's here, this is the bait to use because this is a long time ago. I mean, you look through some of these, there's one in 2018. Well, do you wanna take that? Well, maybe, I mean, there's three of them, some of them up to 2020. But what we're going to do is, once we figure out what we're going to fish for, okay, we're going to fish for bleak. And you can look here and go, okay, well, it's got a few different weird things. You go to weekly. And you're like, okay, well, oh my goodness, there's all kinds of water bodies now. There's places I've never even heard of yet. Well, that's okay. You'll get to them. But what you can do is, 
you go down here, find Bleak, right? You'll see Winding Rivulet. Somebody's caught him here, and it's on uh, Bloodworm. Actually, the Bloodworm and Fly. Okay, well, you can't do uh, Sandwich. It takes Sandwich Bait to do both, but you know, so you know it's going to be Bloodworm or Fly that they're going to buy on. Maybe both. And you come down here and it says, oh, it's Fly. So now you know at least the bait to use is Fly for Bleak, right? All right, guys, I'm going to cut the episode off here. This is where we're at. We've got everything through the tutorial. Now we've figured out what we want to fish. In the next episode, we're going to figure out how to find places to find that fish and continue fishing. Now we're going to start trying to get silver or we're going to transition away from just looking at the very basics of like what the game is and start looking at how to play. I uh, hope to see you next time. As I said before, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can see the, when the next up episode uploads. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you next time.